Okay, so we've got everything torqued down and now we get to undo all of the work that we just did to check our clearances. One point I want to make real quick is we are actually using the ARP Performance main cap bolts. Um, they do require, and we did use all of the uh, uh, assembly lube that they send with these bolts on the uh, inside of the washer and on the threads themselves. So make sure if you do use these bolts, which are great bolts, that you make sure you follow the manufacturer's instructions. So now I'm going to get my regular ratchet. We'll pull all the bolts back up in the same sequence in reverse order, uh, and then we'll check our clearances. Be right back. Okay, so we've taken all the main caps back off, and as you see, you can see the mark that the plastic gauge actually left. That's what we're actually going to measure to make sure we have the proper clearances on the crankshaft. Um, this is the gauge that came with our Clevite plastic coat and I'm going to lay it in on each of these and check them. I've already done it. We are well within our specs at two thousandths of an inch clearance on each bearing. So we're right in the sweet spot. Everything's good to go. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to pull the crank back out, clean it up, get all that plastic coat off of it, uh, clean the bearings again, and then we'll be ready for final assembly. So stay tuned. Okay, so we've got everything apart. We've cleaned all the plastic gauge off the crankshaft and off the bearings. We've gone ahead and lubed up the upper bearings. We went ahead and lay, laid our rear main seal in. Now some people will lay this in flat to the surface. Now what you end up there with is some weak points on the seal uh, that you can get oil leaks from. So what we're actually doing is we're staggering the seal a little bit to make sure that when we lay the, the top cap on, uh, we'll stagger it the other way that we don't have a seal on seal crease right where the two pieces of metal meet. So that's a good point to keep up. Uh, just stagger that rear main seal a little bit and you'll have fewer leaks on that. So we've got all this lubed in. I'm going to go get the crankshaft, which we've cleaned up, and lay it in for the final time, hopefully. Before I lubed up the uh, lower seals, I wanted to actually show you on these main caps. It has an arrow on it, which shows you the front of the engine. The arrow always points to the front of the engine. And each main cap will also be uh, stamped with a number from one to five. So make sure that as you put these in for the final time, uh, that you have them in the right order and point in the right direction. I wanted to show you that before we lube all these up for the final time. So like I mentioned earlier, we are using the ARP Performance main cap bolts. Um, as I said, you're going to want to use their assembly lubricant on the threads and on the bottom side of the washer. I'll show you that process real quick and we'll finish these up, get all the bolts in and uh, be ready to sense this crankshaft down for the last time. Okay, so we got all the main caps back on. All of our bolts have been properly lubricated with the ARP material. Um, now we're just going to go through. They've just been hand tightened. We're going to follow the same torque series we did the first time, and then we'll check and make sure everything's moving the way it's supposed to. Be right back. Okay, so we've got all the main caps torqued down to the manufacturer specifications. We've got one last thing to check, and then the crankshaft is permanently in this block. Make sure that you have good motion. Make sure everything, nothing is binding up. This one's turning really well, really free. So we're good to go. So thanks for watching In the Garage with Parts Pro. As always, go to PartsPro.com to find your local Parts Pro dealer who can help you with this project or whatever project you have for your vehicle. We'll see you in the next episode.